Okay, here we've got a question on similar shapes. It doesn't actually say in the question the shapes are similar. So it is a bit of a tricky one. You have to be able to spot it. And we know they're similar because this angle here is the same as this angle here. They're vertically opposite angles. This one here is the same as this one here because they're alternate. And so are these ones. So we've got a similar shape. So it's a little shape and a big, big shape and a scale factor. So let's draw a little shape and a big shape. In the exam, make sure you don't actually go over this line that I've gone over. Um, so little shape, big shape and a scale factor. So 18 and 10 here. Now, these four and five, I'm going to switch over. So this is going to be the four. This is going to be the five. That's because um, the four is in between this angle and this angle, the single and the double one I've drawn. So that's the single and the double one. So that's the four, goes with that 10. And the five is in between the single and the triple one, which is this one, this is its equivalent one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work out the scale factor. So what have I got to do? Look at the ones that are the same. So the 4 and the 10. So you times it by 10 over 4. So or 5 over 2 or 2.5. Any of them are fine. Then the question, first question says calculate the length of CD. That's this one here. So this is X for the first question. So it's 5 times by the scale factor. So 5 times 10 over 4 up at 2.5. So 5 times 2.5, that's 12.5 centimetres. So 5 times 2.5, 12.5 centimetres. Part B, calculate the length of AB. So that's this one. So this is for the second question. And to go backwards, we divide by the scale factor. So it's 18 divided by 2.5. 18 divided by the scale factor. 18 divided by 2.5. And we use the calculator, and it should give us 7.2. So 7.2 centimetres. 